Hi, my name is Robin McCracken. I'm the diesel manager, and it's time to talk about diesels. This is the brand new Berkshire Forest River diesel, 36, 40 foot. Those are the floor plans. They have at least four different floor plans. These are just absolutely awesome. What you're going to get here, again, is a nice wraparound wrap around windshield, not just a flat, simple windshield. It's more aerodynamic, but more importantly, it allows huge visibility when you're looking at these uh, uh, going down the highway, huge visibility. So what this is on this paint again, we're talking Sickens. Sickens, the best paint in the business. It's amazing how many coaches are painted with car paint. This is where the spider web problem comes in. This is where the defects in the paint come in. Sickens, outrageously expensive, four times more than a typical paint job. But look at the fit and finish of this thing. Look at the finish, the metallic paint, everything else. It's absolutely incredible. So everything in this coach is full body paint, OK? I have no stickers on this thing, not even the name. It's all painted in there. It's all just absolutely gorgeous. The paint, everything is wonderful in this thing, okay? So what we're talking about is Cummins motor, Allison transmission, Freightliner chassis, 22 and a half inch wheels, and then this beautiful fit and finish. So this particular one is running uh, aluminum wheels. You have the option of aluminum, you have the option of the standard wheels, but they're all 22 and a half inch. The aluminum will mean that you're gonna get the 360 horsepower, the big motor, versus the 340. And again, like I said, your option either way. I have a 100 gallon fuel tank, I can fill from either side. So that is absolutely extremely convenient. It doesn't matter what side of the pump I go in, I can fill from any side. So this is wonderful. Scott, I want you to take a look at this awning because I thought this was the neatest feature. But look at this, completely automatic. I don't have to do a thing. I don't have to go into the coach. I can just put that awning out and it has a wind sensor on it too. So it doesn't matter how windy it is. If you're out shopping, hiking, whatever you're gonna do, you have the awning out. It's got big shocks. What that allows is the water to build up on it. It'll dump the uh, water and it'll dump the pressure, keep you from potentially breaking this coach. But I just thought for this price range to have an automatic awning is one thing, have wind sensors, two things, and then have a neat little remote control switch is the best little thing. Look at this thing right here. It's real simple, it's real easy, you can carry it in your pocket, but look at this. I mean, that is about as nifty as I've seen on these coaches. So I have coaches that are a lot more expensive than this that don't have that neat little feature. So the Sickens paint, I, I keep on pushing Sickens paint and I know it, but it's the best paint in the business. All right, so what you're gonna do is if you want carefree, trouble-free, always looks like it's waxed, and then you'll see this sign right up here. Okay, four coats of clear, giving you that really in-depth, wet type of look to where I don't have to wax it every 30 days to try to get a nice finish. So Berkshire, uh, it's Warren Buffett company. It's got American written right all over it, but they just do a fantastic job on their fit and finish. Okay, so you have the big tires, the big wheels, the big air ride, the big air brakes. So this is a lot, a lot, a lot of package. Right, so what you got here, outside entertainment center, and then you have a stereo system and big speakers. Walk, talk, play out, ball game, baseball, whatever you're into, you have an outside entertainment center, which makes it a really neat system. In the old days uh, with flat TVs, I can do a lot of things that I've never been able to do, but I don't have to take the space of your bay room to shove a TV in there. It's built into the coach, so that's really nice. One thing that's standard on these coaches, dual pane windows. I have tenant dual pane windows. Now I'm from Florida, dual pane is for heat, but up north, if you're from the north, dual pane's for cold, but the big thing is insulation, which means to you, more comfort. It doesn't matter how thick you make these windows, they have to have an air seal. And the air seal keeps the condensation and the water running off your windows. So if you have dual pane and tenant for RV factors, that's the ultimate. Okay, that's the absolute ultimate. Now I have barn style doors, okay? I don't have the flip up doors. I have these barn style doors. They're all aluminum casted, okay? And they're double locked. 
all right? Not just a simple lock right here that allows water in it. These are double locked and everything's hidden, everything's clean, and it's not just fiberglass, that is aluminum. Aluminum insulated, vacuum bonded, shelving style. I got plugs for your barbecues, whatever you're into, I got this. But the other neat feature here is look at what I can do with this one. Huge storage, absolutely huge storage. All right, so I have a high rail, I have my supports, and then a gigantic storage in this thing. These suicide type doors, these wide opening doors, allow me to get picnic tables, chairs, whatever I'm into, I can run into this thing with this wide storage. It's absolutely the neatest thing you're ever gonna find. To me, to my knowledge, this Berkshire is the only one that does this. It's absolutely incredible. I don't have to Right there, you have the mud flap. We usually keep it uh, in here so it's not damaged. So we put the mud flap on uh, when you take delivery. And then you also have the ladder for those guys that like to jump on the roofs. The one thing I want to talk about the roof, only one in this price range that I know of, fiberglass. Fiberglass is a very high-end feature. And the one thing that you want to worry about roofs is rubber roofs, TPO roofs, is the cleaning, the maintenance. This is a fiberglass roof just like the big boys. So it's absolutely an awesome roof. You can walk on it, there's no problem. And it's a very high-end feature. And in this price range, I, I frankly don't know anybody who has something like this. So that is a nice, nice, nice feature. You have double furnaces, again, the awning, and a vent for the washer and dryer. So that's, that's a real nice feature as well. All right, my slides, this is four slides on this one. All right, so huge interior space, and we'll go into that a little bit later. But right now, uh, what you're going to see here is my DEF. This is a pollution-free coach. And so what I have is a nice DEF system. And my, my slides and my jacks, okay, they're all going to be hydraulics. And they're very easy to fix, very easy to maintain, very easy to fill. But look how clean that bay is, and then you'll notice everything is sealed. And so they do four-point leveling system, DEF tanks, that's a heated tank as well, and my hydraulics are all wide open, easy to get to. The biggest problem with a lot of these coaches is when you maintain it, to get to the elements is absolutely impossible. This one is really clean. We're going to walk around the back here a little bit. All right, I have a 360 horsepower. Again, like I said, their option 340, 360. This is going to have the whopping 360. It's going to have 10,000 pound hitch. Nice crown roof and backup camera. And, uh, but you can tow pretty much anything you want to tow. And with this combination, I'm getting incredible results with fuel economy. Everybody's big on fuel economy. It wouldn't surprise me if this doesn't get double digits easily, which is going to be about 40% 40, 40 better than a gas coach all day long. Okay, now let's walk around here and let's talk about this side. I have an automatic junction box. I don't have to unplug, I don't have to put back in. It's just automatically gonna take my 110, uh, 230, whatever I'm running, or my generator and automatically switch me over. So that's a nice feature. Again, it's 50 amp cord. Okay, so I can run both air conditioners on this. I have my cable come around here a little bit and I have my cable input, my phone input, my uh, my plugs, everything, inverters, all that right here. And then I have a real clean package here. And the one thing I want to point out, you got two engine batteries, okay? And then you have the house batteries in a nice slide out. Easy maintenance, easy to get to, no funnels required. I mean, I've seen all kinds of weird jury rig kind of deals to try to get to these house batteries. This one, very clean, six volts, four of them, more than enough power to light up this coach easily. And then the one thing I really appreciate, instead of the 12 volt on and off switch when you're in the coach, you can actually shut this one down totally for storage. There's always gonna to be a drain. 
no matter what you do, microwave, refrigerator, whatever it is, there's always going to be a drain. And so this is nice to have a cutoff switch so I could just lock it down. Again, aluminum doors, and then this has got your schematics right here. So if you take a little view here, they make everything very clean, very easy to understand, easy to maintain. Two shocks on each door. It's just a really nice quality piece. You have your backup lights right here, and these are, are these are nice little clean features to where if I'm at dark, I can turn on my backup lights and I can see what I'm doing when I'm working back here at night. So that's a real neat feature as well. The one thing I'm very excited about, and they're the only ones because I'm up to $300,000 coaches that don't do this. If you look right here, a water manifold system. Absolutely incredible. The advantage to a water manifold system is more than just shutting off the commode if you get a leak, okay? What it is, it has to do with water flow. Your wife's taking a shower, you want to do the dishes, you turn on the sh uh, dish water, okay, it takes and drains the shower water, you got an upset wife, and of course nobody wants that. So I can actually regulate how the water flow is coming in this couch. It's absolutely awesome. You can see also a full water system, a tank flush, tank fill, best setup I've seen. I got the water pump, I got hot water dispenser, cold water dispenser for the dogs, the kids, wash the tank, any kind of mess I've made. It's just very clean setup and it's all in a heated compartment. So that makes it extremely clean. I have no pipes hanging out of here. I have none of that stuff. And then I can do this and adjust this if I can't get to it. So it's pretty nice to be able to take my hose, adjust the tanks, Here's my valves, water, water manifold system, which I still can't get over in the fact that this price range you have a water manifold system. It's wonderful. And I don't know of any other coach in this range that has that. The other thing I was pointing out earlier is fiberglass roof. When you look at this paint job, and again, this sickens paint with four coats of clear, the last thing you want with a rubber roof is the white powder, the dirt, the dust, everything flowing over this thing, and you just finished waxing it and it's standing up tall like it is today, and all of a sudden you have these white streaks all over the place. Well, that's what a TPO roof will give you, and that's what a rubber roof will give you. This is a fiberglass roof. And it also has air conditioners that are heat pumps. So if I want to take advantage at a camp, it's a little chilly, I can use the camp's electricity, turn on the heater, so I don't have to use my source. So that's a real neat feature as well. Again, tons of storage, and I can go from either side. I like the fact that the rail's sitting up high. I like everything that's got cross members. And then again, this comes with an option of a slide out tray and it'll take a, a, about a thousand pounds. But uh, I have big wide open door. So that's a real neat feature and it shuts in tight. It's got double locking like I was mentioning before. So I don't have to worry about water, debris, anything else getting in there. So. Another feature, again, uh, what I was talking about is 100 gallons of fuel. I can fill from both sides, so it won't really matter how I get into the fuel tank. I got double fill, so that's real neat. This is what's going to set a lot of coaches apart from this one. All right, my utility area, and you'll notice right here is this right here. All right, my 12 volt system is all right here. I don't have to hunt under the bed. I don't have to get under the driver's seat, whatever it is. It's all right here. It's very clean. You'll notice there's foam right here. Any kind of water potential possibilities, they tighten up. The cords, everything's identified. Everything's got a place. It doesn't look like a big ball of spaghetti. That is just phenomenal. But the one thing that I thought was pretty neat, you pull this little thing here. OK, that little plunger. And come on around here, Scott, and I'll show you. Slide out generator tray. How neat is that? I don't have to go through the top. I don't have to crawl from the bottom. I have a huge slide out generator tray. What I've seen with a lot of these coaches and a lot of coaches that have this slide out tray is they have some Mickey Mouse little drawer system. It looks like it came out of your kitchen to pull this thing out. Look at how heavy duty that is. That is a massive rail put in, in between the Freightliner 9.5-inch chassis. 
uh, and it's just solid. This is an 8KW generator. Best generator on the market. It's one of the quietest generators on the market. And the one thing you're going to love about it is it's vibration free. You can put your hands on it. You, in the old days, I used to put a quarter on its side. And you can actually have it standing tall right there without it knocking over. So it's a wonderful, wonderful generator. I have the diamond shield. So I have nice protected. Again, I don't have to worry about the rocks nicking it, anything else. They just do a beautiful job with the fit and finish. Headlights, again, the paint job, the wraparound glass, and the mirrors are up high. Okay, they're out of your way. The problem I've had with a lot of mirrors sitting right here is the obstruction. Okay, I can't see when I'm parking. I can't see if somebody's walking here. This one, up high, out of the way. I have my side cameras. Okay, 100% visibility. And then I have my mirrors on here. So if you don't trust your cameras, no problem. I got my mirrors. So huge visibility in this coach. So this is absolutely awesome. Let's set, take a second and let's go ahead and walk inside. Okay, now we did some for the outside. Let's go do the inside. One thing, again, huge height, vinyl, soft touch. And then the one thing that I thought was really neat here, because a big gripe, what I tell people is don't waste your time with the front air conditioner. The front air conditioner is like 11,000 BTU. It's nothing more than a house air conditioner for your, uh, mo and it takes 20% of your horsepower to run it. So why do it? Turn to the generator. This is a commercial type generator. This thing will run for years, trouble free, 24 hours a day if you want to. So turn on the generator the minute you walk in, leave the dash air alone, don't waste the power. You might go through a gallon every two hours or something like that. So it's extremely efficient and it'll cool the entire coach, 70 degrees, instead of the first four feet, it's 80 degrees, okay? So it makes much more sense. So the one thing I've noticed about Berkshire is they move the front vent over the driver's and passenger seat. A lot of times you're gonna see the vents over here, and then the driver and passenger is uncomfortable. So not only do you have the surround sound for your tunes and all this neat stuff, you got huge high ceilings, incredible visibility, but you got the air conditioners directly over the driver and passenger seats. So that's a really, really neat feature. Same price range, what a lot of coaches are doing is from Ica. This is a real ceramic tile, okay? This is not a fake. This is real ceramic tile. And you'll notice it goes through the entire length of the coach. Maintenance free is as good as it gets right now. All right, so I don't have to deal with carpet, I don't have to deal with a pad area, and I don't have to deal with vinyl. All right, so the way this structured this coach, and you'll notice underneath was all these X framings and all that, that allows me to do real ceramic tile. So that is a big deal in this price range. So I'm very excited about that. Berkshire has always done a wonderful job with that. Cabinetry, absolutely beautiful workmanship. They do the hidden hinges. They do all kinds of nice stuff here. So cabinetry is excellent. And then now, because of these flat TVs, I don't have to get myself all obstructed views and everything else with a TV hanging here. I can do all storage and allow huge visibility. So that's a really neat feature. And the other thing is these privacy mirrors, I, I, I'm sorry, not mirrors, but shades are actually a mesh style and a blackout shade okay, for, for your night, and they're all electric. So I don't have, to, I just push a button, they're all done. But the one thing that I'm very excited about what they've done uh, is, see this steel well, uh, well right here? Okay, what they've done, instead of a piece of plywood that comes over that you're worried about and everything else, this one is automatic. That's a steel well cover, comes across, and it is automatic, just like the big boys. All right, so I'm 200 and whatever pounds. My wife's always complaining I'm too heavy, so I need to go on a diet, so that's fine. But see, I can stand on this. I can jump on this, have no problem at all, and then your wife's uh, legs are not dangling into the wheel well. So instead of a piece of cheap, uh, they, I've seen some wild stuff, plywood, whatever. This is awesome. 
and it's totally electric. My dash is a wraparound dash. It's very automotive style. The visibility of the windshield is absolutely amazing. My backup camera, my side cameras, my air conditioners, my, my gauges, everything's right here out in the open. Everything's very easy to get to, cruise control, leveling jacks, everything. So this makes a real neat feature. Sofa right here, seat belts galore. So if you take the kids, the grandkids, whatever, you got tons of seat belts, but this will make a queen bed. It's got an air mattress. This will make another bed, but this is one thing I really thought was kind of nifty. I can have a real family. I had a lot of times you see these little booths. They only fit two people. Okay. Not everybody's petite as I am. So, you know, uh, it makes it hard to walk around here. If you're into cards, you're into a big family. You've got the grandkids. I can put a incredible amount of people here to have dinner. So that's a nice feature as well. The other thing that we have here on, on the kitchen, this is real Corian. There's a lot of synthetics out there. There's a lot of Formica to make it look like Corian. The advantage to a real Corian is that it is completely through. Typically you'll have this surface here and then on the bottom is white. That's how you tell the difference. The advantage to this is that I scrape it up, I scratch it over the years, I put knives on it, I can take a buffer, sand this all down, it'll look brand new. So that's a really neat feature, and that's the advantage of using Corian over a synthetic whatever, make believe, whatever product there is. The other thing is they do a beautiful job on the cabinetry. These are roller bearings, full extension, okay, not just a cheap, whenever I have to pick it up and slide it out. This is a nice drawer, and I have them throughout. I mean, they're everywhere. So look at how big this one is. I got pullouts, I got drawers. I mean, I got tons of storage in this coach. Confection microwave, big windows, big ceiling. I've already mentioned the tile. Four door refrigerator. This is the biggest LP refrigerator that they make. Here it is and it's on the slide, so it pushes it out of the way. I have this huge TV that I can put on an angle here. You can see it on all directions, and this one's pretty cool. I got a working fireplace. Now, of course, we're not gonna give you a real flame, all right, but this has got a synthetic-looking flame. It's all a light show, but it's actually, uh, more importantly, a 1,000 BTU heater. So I have my heat pumps, I have my uh, uh, LP heater, and I have my fireplace. A lot of times you'll wake up in the morning, it's just a little chilly, you want to heat the tile up a little bit, this is a great way to do it. So this is, this is a neat little feature. Not everybody wants a fireplace, you can make a cabinet, whatever, but it's a nice feature to look at. On our panels here, it's very clean, it's very to the point, and look at how uh, the access is, okay? I don't have to run into a closet, I don't have to go over the driver's seat, whatever it is. Here it is, I have my inverters, my slide-out mechanisms, my heaters, and then this is very residential. This domestic heating system right here is very out of the house, so I can set it up at 70 degrees, front, back. I don't have two monitors like I see in a lot of coaches. This is one monitor is going to do both air conditioners, so that's a really neat feature, all right? But it's about as easy access as it gets. I'm going to open this closet up here, and what I want you to see on here, very clean, very to the point, all right? You have a wash basin, medicine chest, everything right here, easy to get to. But more importantly, it's not what I would call a through bath because this is a powder room, and this particular model has both powder room and full bathroom. So when the kids are a football game, I, don't, I can have the wife shut off the bedroom, which they really like, and then everybody, all my, my slob friends can come in here, you know, do what they need to do, wash their hands, whatever, and they don't have to invade the bedroom. So that's why the rear bath is a very popular floor plan. Now in this price range to have a stackable washer and dryer is unheard of. This is actually residential style. The combination washer and dryers are kind of a waste of time. You do two shirts of socks and you're done. Okay, and it takes about 80, 90 minutes to get it done. This is right out of your house. And then you'll notice on the outside they're vented. Very important to be vented. But to have a stackable washer and dryer in this price range is awesome. 
so it's very easy to get to. I have my entertainment center back here, my bed, I have the air conditioner, my lighting, my ducking system, everything right here in the open. Again, full slide outs, full extensions. Very nice. The features, the benefits are just phenomenal. Okay, and then this one right here, like I said, tile again, but this one has the full bathroom in the back, big shower, lot of, lot of closet space, huge closet space. So that's a really neat feature as well. Gigantic closet space, drawers, commode, uh, uh, vents. Now, uh, big important to have a power vent in the bathroom, as you already know. And then, this, then the shower, even somebody as big as I am can get into the shower. Scott, come on around here and take a look at that shower. That's a really nice feature. Okay, so, so uh, you also have engine access, if that becomes important. You have engine access to this, but you also have a beautiful mag medicine cabinet. Again, more drawers, more cabinets, and this one is actually usable. Okay, so you have a nice usable sink. Uh, this, is, um, uh, this is actually one of those uh, bathrooms that are uh, miser toilets, okay? So I have the ones and the twos, and I can press the buttons accordingly. And, and maximize my, my holding tanks. So that's a real nice feature as well. Well, thank you for bearing up with all, all my details on these coaches. I'm very excited about them. They're incredible value. We've been around 30 years, okay? So we have a huge reputation that we really take a lot of pride in. My name is Robin McCracken. You feel free to call me or any one of my staff. I'm the diesel product manager, and we love to have your business. We'll guarantee we'll beat everybody out there. There is no question on that. We have the best value, the best service, and we're very excited to be talking to you today. Thank you very much.